Welcome to the Youth Knowledge Break, organized by the partnership between the European Commission and the Council of Europe in the field of youth. A series of online conversations about the role of evidence, research and knowledge in the youth field in Europe today. Welcome to this uh, Inspiration Youth Knowledge Break. Uh, as you have seen, we have launched that uh, with the presentation of the essentials of youth work. Today we have some more interesting uh, tools for you. And without further ado, I invite our guest to introduce herself and to tell us what it is about. Please. Hello, I'm Irina Lonan. I'm specialized in monitoring and evaluation of youth policies. And I'm here to share with you two upcoming publications of the par youth partnership between the EU and the Council of Europe. Uh, the first one, it's something that uh, I worked with uh, Mark Itaru and Ruta Beriaze. Um, and we prepared the youth policy evaluation review, a consistent publication with practical and theoretical chapters. The second one, it's an insight into the youth policy evaluation that it's an easier to use short inspiration for practitioners in the youth field. Thank you, Irina. And can you tell us a little bit more about uh, what is this? In, what are these two inspirations about, uh, and how did they come up? Well, the inspirations are about youth policy evaluation. Youth policy evaluation is part of the knowledge-based youth policy development that have been supported by the youth partnership for a long period of time, organizing uh, trainings and events and publishing uh, youth policy reviews. Since 2018, the European Knowledge Center for Youth Policy, the e EQIP uh, that is supporting the youth partnership, has been focusing on youth policy evaluation. This is because youth policy evaluation is a special way on using uh, knowledge to develop uh, policies, especially youth policies. It underlines the accountability behind uh, the policy implementation and development and it also uh, help learn from mistakes and identifying good practices to go farther with them and repeat them as often as possible. Thank you. Could you give us five content points from the publications? If I need to choose five things from two publications, this is uh, a lot, I will uh, underline the following things. Youth policy evaluation, it's supporting communication because it develops information on results and uh, the impact of youth policies and helps everybody understand what is the, uh, the result of youth policies and get involved into planning and implementing policies. Evaluation supports efficiency because it helps identifying where the resource, uh, resources are used best and how to allocate resources where it has more, uh, more effects and results. And in this way, more young people can benefit from youth programs. Uh, moreover, evaluation supports cooperation because uh, around the debates generated by the evaluation, uh, institutions and stakeholders involved in different fields that are important for young people, uh, like the uh, employment for young people, education, housing for young people can get involved and share their knowledge and their experience. What I can say from the uh, research that we have done is that evaluation on youth policy is now not a general practice in Europe, but lessons are available and can be used uh, from the evaluation on, of EU level policies that as the youth uh, guarantee. On the other hand, the Council of Europe, uh, it's making available resources as the reviews for, uh, of youth policies as inspiration and uh, information sources and starting points for the institutions that are planning their own youth policies evaluation. Thank you, Irina. You already mentioned a little bit about uh, who is it for and how it can be used, uh, but uh, maybe you can elaborate a little bit on how you, can, how you would advise uh, different stakeholders to use this inspiration. Well, um, we drafted the review and the insights having in mind first the youth uh, policy um, decision makers and policy makers. 
On the other hand, uh, youth organizations and youth researchers can also benefit from the two inspirations. The publications include case studies that are uh, an inspiration and examples on how evaluation can be done in the youth field. Uh, the review includes a checklist that it's uh, very uh, beautifully presented in, uh, in a graphic um, on how to plan uh, youth policy evaluations. On the other hand, the insights, I said it's more practical and easy to use and can be used as a guideline uh, with um, baseline data and uh, uh, guides and practical advices on how to do and plan uh, youth work, uh, youth uh, policy evaluations. Thank you, Irina. Do you have any final tips for us? Last but not least, I would like to underline the importance of youth participation for uh, youth policy evaluation. Youth participation is very important for the youth field. Uh, it's also very important for monitoring and evaluation youth policies because it allows young people to experience transparency, good governments and democracy. And also it allows in institutions involved in youth policy planning uh, to adapt youth policies to the needs that are rapidly evolving of young people. So I encourage responsible institutions in the youth field, as well as organizations, youth organizations and youth researchers to do youth and to conduct youth policy evaluations and to do this by involving young people as much as possible. Thank you, Irina. Thank you, uh, Lana and Marietta for preparing this and for recording. I would just add that it is equally relevant for practitioners out there and for all levels, people initiating programming, policy making at local, regional, national and international levels. And in this process we have uh, of drafting, we have had a lot of experts from the youth sector and from outside. We have had the contributions of uh, equip correspondents and researchers and policymakers themselves. So we hope that you will make the best use of them. So thank you and see you until the next knowledge break. Bye. We hope this knowledge break session helped you learn more about the role of knowledge in supporting youth policy making and youth work practice in Europe.